Hey, it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana and today I'm going to talk to you about looking after other people's pets and feeding them. So at the moment, uh, while I'm recording this video, I am house sitting for um, my partner's family and they have a dog and a cat and I have talked about in the past um, some of my thoughts on pets and veganism and I'll leave um, links to those videos down below but I'm just sort of wondering what do you do when you're asked to look after someone else's pet in regards to what do you feed them because as we know or some may not know feeding dogs a vegan diet um, is actually not that hard but feeding cats a vegan diet now that's a whole other, that's a whole other can of beans. And uh, you know, like it's only, it's not for a long period of time that I'm looking after these animals, but I still feel quite com like conflicted obviously in that um, the food that they normally eat is not vegan. And you know, and I guess, you know, what do we do in that sort of situation? Do we feed them the food that we were given by their own, by their owners, or you know, do we go out and we buy special pet food for them? I don't know. What have you done? Have you found yourself in a similar situation? Um, you know, I guess like in regards to pets and veganism, if you were to go and buy a pet from a pet store from a breeder most vegans will tell you that that is not very vegan if there is such thing as that it's not very vegan to do that if you do want to look after animals it's possibly more ethical to look after those that um, you know that are maybe at the pound or are going to be slaughtered or you know those sort of things tend to be more vegan than if you were to pay for someone to breed a particular type of an animal. I won't go into um, the ethics of what goes on in, in, in the breeding industry for animals that are to be used as, you know, companions or, or um, you know, just friends in your home. But yeah, it just sort of got me thinking a little bit and uh, I just thought I'd just sort of share this wee moment with you of what I'm just sort of trying to process it. And it's kind of, like it kind of reassures to me that that I don't think pets are something that I should be actively seeking and in my life now or any sort of time near in the future. And, you know, and I guess <laughs> we don't really know whether they are enjoying their situation, they are enjoying living with us. They may do, they may not, there may be some negatives to it that we don't understand or we don't know yet and I guess you know depending on what your pet is it can be really hard to feed them vegan food such as cats because we all know that cats are carnivorous animals so yeah that's um, just a wee vegan dilemma I'm sharing with you today let me know if you like I said if you've come across something like this before have you had yourself in this sort of situation? What did you do? And I guess like this could almost flow over to, you know, if you're looking after someone's human children, you know, and they are not vegan, what do you do in regards to the food there? You know, are you, I guess it just probably comes down to the relationship that you have with, um, with the family. Can you go ahead and just feed the child what you would, you know what you would normally eat or what you would feed vegan children or are they forcing you to feed the child non-vegan food I don't know let me know just you know share some of your stories down below I'd love to hear from you in regards to this if you have ever come across anything like this before and I hope you've done something that makes you happy today see ya